Some of the most historic houses in the United States are far older than we could ever imagine. Hi everyone, Ken here. Today we are uncovering the legend of Davy's Manor. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House. According to local legend, in 1821, when Thomas Henderson was granted 600 acres in Tennessee for his service during the American Revolutionary War, the parcel of land he received had been occupied for a very long time. It sat along what was referred to as an Indian Trail, but was really a fairly busy dirt road in a Native American community before Europeans arrived. According to the tale, he discovered earthen mounds on his property and began excavating. Then, under some brush, he found a well-preserved Native American log cabin, reminiscent of a plank house, a typical dwelling for a Native American before Europeans arrived. The property went on to change hands several times in the early 1800s, and the extant log cabin had been expanded and renovated. When William Davies, a Methodist minister and plantation operator, purchased the estate, the only intact room of the original cabin served as the parlor. The only modifications that were made were to replace the doors and windows with glass panes, along with a fashionable fireplace mantle and carpeted floors. As the house passed through his family, it was eventually inherited by Ellen Davies Rogers, who updated the kitchen with more modern amenities, ran electric lighting, and staged the home with 1800s decor. In the newer portions of the house, she recreated what life would have been like for the original owners, including restoring one of the original kitchens. Other rooms were staged with more educational intent, so that she could host tours of the cabin and teach the youth about the old ways of living on the frontier. The dining room was set for a formal dinner, with period porcelain and fine silverware set over a crisp white tablecloth, with a glass pane door opening to the parlor, where she removed the carpeted floors to show off the ancient craftsmanship of the culture which preceded her family's occupancy. When Ellen passed away in 1994, she willed the estate to the Davies Manor Association, Inc., for the purposes of preserving the house for future generations. Since then, the association has curated tours for exploring the early days of life in Tennessee, as well as tours focused on the lives of those forced to labor on the plantation and the tenant farmers who came after them. While it may never be known who built the original cabin, or even when they built it, Davies Manor offers a glimpse into the lives of the men and women who lived off the land long ago. This video was suggested by a subscriber. If you have any suggestions for a house you think we should cover, let me know down below in the comments section. And while you're there, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House.